Praise you, Jesus. I don't like to hear those because that's somebody's baby. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody's child. Somebody's child. That was in San Antonio. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome, everybody. It's yes. good to be here. Happy Sunday morning to you. Yes. All those of you that are joining us, we just want to receive you into our church. Amen. New Begins Church of the Big Amen. Man here Amen. in Marfa, Amen. Texas. And we want to welcome you. Amen. Yes. Amen. So prepare yourselves to receive. He always, always, always has something for us. Amen. Amen. And say this with me. God has something for me. God has something for me. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Go ahead and we're gonna before I get too far away, I want to make sure that you have your sword. Use your sword. We're going to use it. And this is what mine says. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today I'm going to talk to the God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. Amen. So, guess what? We've been, we've been studying about this. The word of God, we want to get it in us. Amen. Amen. So we will be the same all the time. Amen. Amen. And I want you to be open because he wants to bless you. He wants to encourage you. And he wants to change you. Amen. Amen. You, you, you. Not your neighbor, not nobody else, but you. He wants to bless you. Amen. <laughs> so prepare yourselves to receive because God has an awesome word for us. Amen. Amen. So thanks God in a few minutes. I'm going to bless you with a, a hand out here. Brother, if you come up, give, make sure everybody gets one. <laughs> I want you to have that. Amen. All right. Praise God. We're going to be opening the Word of God. And we're going to be talking about being a passionate, passionate, passionate follower for Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We are passionate about a lot of things. We're starting a new year. A new day in Him. So we need to know. And we need to know what the Word of God says. He says if you know the truth, it will set you free. free. We want to be free. Amen. But we want to be passionate. We're passionate about a whole lot of things. Yeah. You know, uh, we're passionate about <clears throat> Texas barbecue. Yeah. It's good. Awesome. Ooh, I love barbecue. Oh, we're yeah. passionate about Mexican food. Ooh, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> we're passionate about the NFL championship games that are going on today. Oh, Amen. Boy. Ooh, hallelujah. Some of you are saying, hurry up, Pastor. It's time to get <laughs> Is it over yet? <laughs> I need to get home. I know what time is coming on, and the party's going to start as soon as I get home. <laughs> we need to have a party with him Amen. on a daily basis. Yes. We need to have a pep rally before we hit the world. Amen. Mm -hmm. We need yeah. to go with him and say, Lord, I need you before I hit this world. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Because you know what? The world is going to eat your lunch in a heartbeat if you ain't ready. That's right. Praise God. So being a passionate follower with an attitude of gratitude. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen our sign back there, it says each day is a gift. Mm -hmm. No day is promised to you. Each That's day right. is a gift. Yes, what? Yes. Receive it with gratitude. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. And one of our scriptures we're going to be opening up with is, this is a day the Lord has made. It says to rejoice and be glad in it. I wrote it like this. This is a new day the Lord has made. Rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Be passionate about your new day. Be passionate about the new year Amen. He's given you to serve Him. Amen. Amen. He's called you. You're special. If you don't see yourself special, you got to see yourself special. Amen. Because that's the way He sees you. Mm. Remember what I talked about? Putting your glasses on? Put your Jesus glasses on? Mm. Oh, you know what I see? I see? I see people now with love and compassion. For God so loved the world yes. that He gave His only begotten Son. Yeah. When God sees us, He sees Jesus. Yes. When we see people, we should see we should see them with love and compassion. And God yes. has for God so loved the world, the same yes. Jesus that died for you, Amen. Died for them. Yes. And you know, sometimes we get in the church and we get so comfy oh. because oh. me and my family we're saved so I don't care about the rest of the world mm. you know? he wants you to get full of the word yes. so that you can go out to them and tell them the truth Amen. because it's the truth that's going to set them free yes. he died for them they don't know the truth the truth is going to set them free Amen. hi Jesse <laughs> passion what's passion 
Proof. Yeah, emotions, excitement. Proof. Mm -hmm. Zero. Proof. Hallelujah. I wrote myself some notes here. I better read them. Encouraging. Yeah. Encourage. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Yeah. Amen. It's going to be a pep rally. A pep rally message for you today. Okay. Be encouraged. You know, we're starting off a new year. This is the first month. And I want to give you some exciting things. He wants to give you some exciting things so we can build up for the rest of the year. Yes. For the, for the next few days. Yes. Amen. So we want to go on. You know what? <laughs> I've told you this many times, but there's giants out there waiting for you. Oh, yeah. It, 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 I don't want you to stay home because there's giants waiting on you. <laughs> you know, when David, when little David, the little shepherd boy, got to where the soldiers were, the soldiers, the king and Israeli army is pulled back because one giant is holding them back. Mm -hmm. And you know what they're doing? They're talking about the problem. Mm -hmm. And not one of them ever mentioned God. That's right. <laughs> David showed up. Mm -hmm. He brought the brothers to lunch. But he showed up and says, <laughs> Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Mm -hmm. I don't care how big your problem is. Your God is bigger than your problem. Yes, yes, amen. Amen. But you got to see yourself that way. Mm -hmm. As soon as he got there, he started talking about his God. Uh -huh. You know, when you come around with people, <laughs> they're not going to mention your God. Uh -uh. But it's in you. It's got to come out of you. Amen. Yeah, you mentioned, David mentioned God. God is with me. Saul says, you got to put this armor on. David said, I got what he's given me. And I'm going to use what he's given me. Mm -hmm. He's given you his word. Amen. He's given you his name. He's given you his blood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's given you all these things that is in you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Yes. Come on, Amen. Man. I don't care what's coming against you. That's right. <laughs> you win. Yeah. Amen. You got to have this attitude of gratitude. Amen. Yeah. You got to go out there. God wants us to love, obey, and serve Him with passion. Uh -huh. Not only on a daily basis, not only every year, but for life. Life. He's yes. called you. Remember that. Life you're called. If He's called you and you're still here and you're sitting here, He's not finished with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're still pressing on. Yeah. He says to press on. He didn't say sit back. He didn't say go back. He says, Press on. Mm -hmm. We're going on because the price is ahead of us. Mm -hmm. We're going forward and we're going yes. upward with Him. Amen. Amen. Saint Corinthians says, "Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is what a new, a new creation. creation. Old things have passed away. Yes. Behold, all things have become new." <laughs> Quick commercial. I've told you this before. You got your Bible, and it's nice and pretty. Set it down. Grab you one that you can write in. And you can personalize it, and you can scratch on it, and underline it, and oh, highlight yeah. it, and all these things, you know. Just go and yeah. invest in a few pencils, a few pens, a few highlighters, so that you can say this. Therefore, if anyone, yeah. Jose, scratch me, mm -hmm. scratch you, or whatever, say, it's in Christ. He is, Jose is, yes. a new creation. Amen. You know, the world's going to hold it against you. He said, who do you think you are? Well, I'm a new creation in Christ. Right. He's forgiven you. He's yes. forgotten about it. So why are you still sitting there? Uh -huh. People oh. bring it up to you and you say, hey, you know, that was somebody else. Uh -huh. I don't live there no more. That's not me. You're not talking about me. That's somebody else. <laughs> yes. But you got that's got to come out of you. You got to see yourself this way. You got to see yourself, yes. the changed person, the forgiven person, uh -huh. the forgotten person. He's done for you. Mm -hmm. yes. You can't stay in the same That's old right. person. He says old things have passed away. Old things. Yes. So you gotta remember that too. Mm -hmm. So don't stay back there. You gotta move on. Mm -hmm. This is 2018, not 2017. Mm -hmm. So there it goes. It's gone. Yesterday's gone. <laughs> and of course, if you want a role model, one of the greatest role models we can have is yes. Jesus. The Son of God came. He stripped himself or to left all his royalties in mm -hmm. heaven. <laughs> and he came down, says the Son of Man came to serve, not to be served, and give his life a ransom for many. For us. Yes. So we need to do our best, give ourselves, give ourselves back to him. Amen. And say, Lord, I'm yours. Mm -hmm. I'm giving myself back to you. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says you can do all, all things all through Christ who strengthens you. That he constantly, always, mm -hmm. see yourself that way. Jesus, my favorite hero, 
Mm -hmm. my, my greatest role model, he stepped down from heaven to, to serve. And if he can serve, so can I. Yes. Well, you don't know, I'm the boss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're the boss, so what? But you know what? Thank God for those bosses and CEOs yes. of companies that come down and strip themselves of all these mm -hmm. mighty things, mighty words, and come down and serve in yeah. soup kitchens. Yeah. Come to church and serve. Say, Pastor, I'm here. Whatever you need, I want to help you. Mm -hmm. See, greater is he that sent me. Yes. The greater one, they know they see the greater one. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But like Pastor Pat said a few minutes ago, mm -hmm. it's not about me. I'm not trying to build myself up. And those things don't move me because I know who the greater one is. Mm -hmm. He's the greater one. Yes, he Amen. Is. Uh, Mark uh, 10 45 says, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life for ransom for many. Mm -hmm. And this is my, one of my favorite scriptures. Colossians 3 23 24. And whatsoever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord and not to men, mm -hmm. knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward and the inheritance. For you serve the Lord Jesus. Well, if you come in to serve, so you can be seen and oh. to get a pat on the back oh, boy. or to have your name mentioned, that's too bad. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm doing it, I've already settled this. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it unto God. Amen. So even if people don't say anything, he's already paid it. Amen. The price has been paid in full. Yes. I've already settled this. I'm doing it unto him. He's already paid the greatest price. Yes, he uh, has. It goes something like, he's, he paid a debt he didn't owe. And I owe a debt I cannot pay. That's right. So I can just give myself to him mm -hmm. and say, Lord, I'm offering myself back to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you know what? He's not going to turn you away. That's right. You know, you know this uh, so-and-so said, <laughs> God can use you because you've sinned, because you've been here, you've been there. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Get yourself up mm -hmm. and press on. Yes. Amen. He wants to use you. He's not good. Are you still here? Yes. yes. You're still here. Praise so God. guess what? He still wants to use you. Amen. He's not finished with you. Yes. Amen. Until he calls you home. That's right. Hebrews, another one of my favorite scriptures, Hebrews 6 10. For God is not unjust to forget your work and labor of love which you have shown towards his name. Yes. And that you have ministered the saints and do minister. Yes. Amen. He knows everything you do. Yes, he does. He's not going to forget. That's right. Amen. So it's not like, well, you know, I'm not going to do my best for, for my boss. I'll tell you about a quick, quick story about this gentleman that was working for this man all these years. And he started listening to his friends. And his friends told me, you know what? You work for your friend and you get ready to retire. And your boss has never did anything for you. So what are you going to do? You build these beautiful houses. And your boss gets all of all the glory, he gets all the money, he gets everything, and really nothing. So his friends tell him, you know what, next time he tells you to build something, just do your second best. So he did. Boss told him, says, you know what, I'm, I know you're getting ready to retire, I hate to lose you, but I want you to build me this, this beautiful house, this last house, please, build me this last house. And he says, okay. So he built the house, but he followed what his friends told him. Oh used all second best stuff. Mm -hmm. It still looked pretty, but he used second best stuff. Mm -hmm. And guess what? When he was finished, the boss says, I appreciate, I enjoy having you, and I want to bless you with this beautiful house. That you have earned over all these years. So he wants to bless you. And you gave him your second best. So beware of your company. Beware of who you hang out with. Oh, come on now. Don't give you second best. Oh, Jesus. You know, Jesus could have said, mm -hmm. you know what, Father? Mm -hmm. These people are so ungrateful. Mm -hmm. Just get me out of here. Mm -hmm. Let them go to hell. <laughs> mm -hmm. But for God so loved the world, he gave his son. Sacrifice his son. And Jesus came and he didn't give his second best. That's right. He didn't. You know, we don't even go through some of the things he went through. That's right. But he didn't back down. No, he didn't. So don't listen to your friends. Mm -hmm. Renew your minds to the things of God as you press yeah. on to do for him. Because 
Because I didn't do it. <laughs> because he wants us to do yes. his best for Amen. him. Not second best. Right. He didn't give you the second best, don't give me your second best. I got off on the side trail. Please forgive me. <laughs> Ephesians 6 7 says, Work with enthusiasm as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. People will disappoint you. People will never be satisfied. Come people on, will never be pleased. All right. But when you do it under Him, yes. He is pleased with you. Yes. He will bless you. <laughs> I've heard this from his word, from his word. I've got it from some friend. It says this. You are blessed by the best. Mm -hmm. You're blessed by the best. So why don't you want to be blessed by people? If you're blessed by the best already. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't yeah. step down, step up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Step up. <laughs> you're not working for people. Remember that the Lord will reward each one of us yes. for the good work we do. Amen. Whether we are slaves or free. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, Romans 12, 1, 12, 11 says this. Don't be lazy. God <laughs> knows us very well. <laughs> Don't be lazy. Don't get too comfy. <laughs> but always work hard. Work for the Lord with a full heart. With a heart full of love. Full of compassion for Him. No slack. <laughs> Some of us love the world more than we love our God. Mm. And we serve the world with more passion than we oh, serve yeah. our God. The world didn't die for you. That's right. So and so didn't die for you. Jesus did. Amen. And he wants us to serve him with passion, with excitement, with zealous. Mm. Listen, I was excited about being military and I gave him my best. Amen. And I was excited and I was zealous about doing these things. But now I'm in God's army. You're in God's army. Amen. And you're a soldier of God. You're a warrior for God. You're a champion for God. You're a winner for God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't give it your second best. That's right. Give it your best. Amen. Amen. Woo, I'm excited. I don't know about you. <laughs> don't let Satan or anyone or anything hold you back. That's right. Get passionate about this new day. Mm -hmm. Get passionate about this new year. And give it your best. You're passionate about the new things God wants to do in your life. Yes. You know, don't think about, well, he used so-and-so, but he never uses me. God talks to them, but God never talks to me. No, he well, have you ever opened your Bible? That's right. Huh? Open your Bible, and he'll talk to you daily. Amen. And meditate on his word and renew your mind to the things of God, and he'll talk to you. And he'll put thoughts there for you. You know, if you're not listening from him, you're listening from someone else. And you'll put negative thoughts. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes. Okay? So, we have to renew our mind. But beware. <laughs> God wants to use you, but beware. Beware of what? Hmm. Beware of passionate killers. Oh, yeah. They're everywhere. <laughs> Jeez. Beware of oh, dream killers. Yes. <laughs> Beware of vision killers. Oh, yes. Beware of mission killers. Whatever you want oh, to call yeah. it. Yeah. They're going to come and they're going to pull you down mm -hmm. and tell you, you don't need to. You already sinned. There's no more Jesus in your life. Mm -hmm. Just forget about it. Just kind of go through mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. without him. No, beware of passion killers. <laughs> People are things that steal your love, steal yeah. your joy, steal your peace. They steal your smile. <laughs> Don't give up your smile. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no thing to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I love to smile. <laughs> Why are you smiling at me? <laughs> I couldn't smile last week. <laughs> No, I can't stop smiling. <laughs> it's so beautiful to smile. You know what? You give your frown a break. Some of us really need to smile. But we've been frowning too long, you know? We've been frowning too long, you know? We don't want our face to break off, you know? Oh my God, help me, Lord. <laughs> smile gives you, give your frown a break. The Bible says, 
The joy of the Lord is your strength. strength. Some of us need to smile all day long because we need a lot of strength. Amen. You know what? Don't talk about the negative things today, bro. Talk about the good things. Yeah. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. There's nothing there about negative things. Amen. Now, the enemy's going to put those thoughts there. But you got to renew it. Get it on here. Amen. John 10, 10 says what? To see the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus says, I come that you might have life and life more abundantly. I want to bless you. Bless by the best. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Renew your mind. Replace those bad thoughts with the word of God. Control. Yes. We've been talking about this and I'm, I'm, I haven't got there yet, but control your tongue. Speak oh. faith your words. Amen. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Words have power. Yes, they do. So guess what? You give power to the negative or you give power to the positive. Mm -hmm. You give power to the death or you give power to the life. Mm -hmm. You release that power. See, <laughs> words are carriers. They carry life or they carry death. Words are seeds that you sow, that you plant in your life. Uh -huh. What kind of plants do you want growing in your garden? Mm -hmm. Positive or negative? Mm -hmm. Life or death? Mm -hmm. You give it the power. Mm -hmm. yeah. Change the stinky thinking. Oh, Get the on. negative out. Oh, oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Ooh, Praise God. Amen. We're going to have a test. Uh oh. If you get your. Never mind. <laughs> what comes out of your mouth? Mm. Control uh -huh. what comes out of your mouth. Yes. Amen. Last week we talked about your say so's. Those of you that are watching or listening, your say so's. What are your say so's? Are you still saying negative things about yourself? Mm. Or are you saying, so, I am so blessed. I'm a winner. I am a champion. I am an overcomer. I am a conqueror. Mm -hmm. All these things, the word of God says, confess those positive things over yourself. Speak uh, uh, faith-filled words over your life. Amen. Listen to this. One of the scripture verses that says this. Power of faith-filled words. If you want to start seeing the power of God manifest in our lives, we will have to start paying attention to what we say. Mm -hmm. Not about what so-and-so says, yeah. but what you say. Amen. If you're going to live a victorious life, you must speak faithful words and declare what God says about your situation. We can have all things through Christ, no matter how unqualified you feel. Mm -hmm. When you speak his word, you're speaking faith-filled words. Amen. Jesus promised to strengthen and enable you. Speak the words over your situation. Magnify God and not the situation. Right. Magnify God and not the care and not the problem. Right. Declare you are an overcomer through him. Anyone can be positive when things are going well. But when things, <laughs> when things get rough, when oh, things yeah. get tough, <laughs> how are you going to respond to the problems? When it comes. Mm. Amen. These are the things that are going to make you or break you. Amen. What you say in the midst of your difficulties mm. will have a direct impact on your outcome. Mm -hmm. Don't look at the fact <laughs> of your situation. Mm -hmm. Look at the truth of God's word. Amen. Declare with you, declare his truth over your situation until the facts of life line up with the word. Amen. Make a decision this new year, this new yes. day daily to speak faithful words over your situation Amen. and you will make it through this year and daily victoriously. Amen. Amen. What was the change? I changed my say so. Mm -hmm. I changed. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking faithful words. Yes. Now. I'm not speaking a problem. You're magnifying your problem mm -hmm. more than you're magnifying your God. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, you think, well, all I need to do is change a few things. I don't have to speak this way to impress my friends. Mm. I don't have to speak this way to impress the world. On, I don't have to speak this way All to right. impress myself. That's right. Praise I'm going to speak the right things mm -hmm. so I can magnify my God. Amen. He's already paid the price. Yes, he has. Yes. So I don't have to do that anymore. Amen. It's a done deal. It's paid for. Yes. 
Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Thank you. I'm excited, church. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Let go of hurts, guilt, griefs, grudges. Oh, Lord. Bad memories or anything that ties you or holds you back. Mm -hmm. Go forward, not backwards. Mm -hmm. You know, when you speak native, you go backwards. Mm -hmm. You stop yourself. You stop your momentum. Mm -hmm. That's not good anymore. That's right. Beware the company you keep. <laughs> I okay. told you this before. I asked the Lord, Lord, help me with my enemies. Uh, we all have some enemies. Mm -hmm. If not, you got Satan. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Mm -hmm. I asked the Lord to help me with my enemies. I started losing friends. Mm -hmm. So he's going to clean your life. But he might take some friends away. Oh, that's all right. And he's going to put some, some that's going to magnify you, you know. some that are going to help you, mm -hmm. some that are going to assist yeah. you mm -hmm. in your walk with yeah. him. Amen. Amen. A friend is one that's always there. And when you need someone to talk to or call mm -hmm. or be there, mm -hmm. he'll come. Mm he'll -hmm. show up. He'll show up. Mm he'll -hmm. pray for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's a true friend. Yes, it is. Amen. So beware. Remember, give no place to the devil. Amen. You know, you give him an inch. Oh, yeah. He'll take them out. He'll take them out. You know, you open the door, let him in, give him a ride, and he'll want to drive you. Mm -hmm. Amen. He'll want to drive your life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we talked about this last week, last sin. How's that going? Sin, Sin will take you, will take you further than you want to go, keep, keep you longer than you want to stay, and cost you more than you can pay. Mm -hmm. So beware. Mm -hmm. We must keep whoo, we must keep our new self. We must keep ourselves refired, okay. stirred up with a passion for God as we yes. serve Him on a daily basis. As you yes. serve Him every year. Get passionate about Him. Stop these little pity parties. You know, when you have pity parties, the only ones that ever show up is me, myself, and I. Oh, yeah. Those are the only three that ever show up. Uh -huh. So we need to stop. You know, when you follow God, when you follow faith, when you follow His Word, uh -huh. you don't have these little pity parties. Amen. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Mm. You're a new creature in Christ. Yes. I'm a king and do person. <laughs> uh -huh. I can do all things through Him. Yeah. Stop the old oh, poor me attitude. <laughs> You're a winner. You're a champion. Why are you acting this way? Uh -huh. <laughs> Stop saying life is so unfair to me. Mm. I, I'm unlucky. I'm unlucky. Mm. <laughs> you know what? Unlucky, lucky. None of these things died for you. That's Jesus right. did. Jesus did. Amen. He paid the price for you. Yeah. It's about being blessed. Yes. It's about blessed. Amen. Amen. We need to speak faith your words. And we need to renew our say-sos. And we also need to renew our new I am. Say me. Where's my list? Uh -huh. I don't know where your list is. Let me right. see it. You got your list in front of you? Yes. I didn't give it to you so you can throw it away. <laughs> Read them. Amen. 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 Uh, it's this here. If you have confessed Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then all these covenant promises from the Word of God belong to who? You. You. You can scratch you and put your name uh -huh. there. Okay? It belongs to you. I encourage you to look at each scripture up that agrees with God's word. Uh -huh. Speak them out over yourself when? Amen. Daily. Amen. Especially in facing hard situations. Uh -huh. And they will become a part of you. They will become a part of you. The Bible says to meditate on his word. Get it in you. When you get it in you, it's got to come out. Amen. Amen. As you do, and you're faithful, your faith grows, and you will witness your life take a turn for what? The best. <laughs> You are what God says you are. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And if you haven't seen this, those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, uh, us through audio, this is the I am list. Who am I? I am a child of God. I am redeemed from the hand of the enemy. I am forgiven. I am saved. I am justified. I am sanctified. I am a new creature. Hallelujah. I mean, this is a whole bunch of them. I ain't going to read them all. Tell them it'll be on the website. It'll be, it'll be on the website. I am healed by his stripes. Yeah. Quit saying, quit confessing your uh, sickness. Come on now. By his stripes you were healed. Yeah. Yeah. I am healed. I'm yes. speaking healing over myself. Yeah. From the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Yes. I am healed. Yeah. I am blessed coming in and I'm blessed going out. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. All these things.
casting all my cares on him because why? He cares for me. Yes. I'm free from all bondage. I'm being led by the Spirit of God. I am delivered from the power of darkness. Amen. All these Thank things are Lord. here. This is from the Word of God and it's got scripture to it. Yes. So you go to the Word of God, know it yourself. Get it in yourself. Amen. Amen. God is going to use you. You're a mighty vessel of God. You're a mighty warrior for God. Amen. But you got to get all this in you. When little David walked up there and saw the giant, uh -huh. he had God on his side. He said, hey, I've been tested by the best. Yeah. And when the bear came, mm. when the lion came, he uh -huh. said, I was ready. Yeah. Amen. You are ready. Mm -hmm. Get yourself ready because God wants to use you. Amen. And he's sending you out into the field of giants yes. not to be afraid, but to be just like David, be strong in him, in him. not in yourself. Mm -hmm. I got the greater one in me. Mm -hmm. I ain't backing down from nobody. Amen. Amen. Praise Whew. God. So don't throw these away. No paper plans. Don't wind it up. Get it in you. And you know what? When you get it in you, when you get it in you, bless somebody else with it. Amen. Amen. Or you come in here and say, Pastor, I need some more copies. I need it to all my friends. Well, good. Now, bring all your friends to church. Too. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you're not unlucky. You're blessed. Amen. Amen. Praise God. The word of God says I can do all things all through Christ who, who strengthens me. Uh -huh. <laughs> not because I'm lucky, but because I am blessed. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Good luck, bad luck, let it go. Yes. Blessed by the best. Keep that in mind. Write that down. I am blessed by the best. Amen. Hallelujah. What an awesome thing to know. <laughs> bad things are happening. Do this. Check your Christian walk. Uh -huh. Check your words and your actions Amen. because that's what the world's going to be watching. Mm -hmm. They may not say nothing about you. That's right. That person's different. Something about them. Mm -hmm. They're watching your words and they're watching your actions. Mm -hmm. You get your finger jammed. What's going to come out of you? Mm -hmm. Ouch. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> or something else. <laughs> Watch your words and your actions. Amen. They won't say anything. You can go on for years. Mm -hmm. But as soon as you step out of line, oh, as soon yeah. as you leave him oh, and yeah. step out of line, they're going to yeah. say, ah, I right. thought you was a Christian uh -huh. yeah. one time. Yeah. He said, you know what? He can't use you anymore. Mm -hmm. Might as well just give it up. Mm -hmm. Aren't you glad that Robert, the crook that was crucified with Jesus, mm -hmm. he may have lived a sinful life all his life. He was without Jesus. Mm -hmm. He was without God. Mm -hmm. And you know, the very moment <coughs> when he had an opportunity, he recognized his Jesus. Mm -hmm. He says, I know you're Jesus, son of God. That's me, not what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. But he says, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. If you are lost and never accepted Jesus, now's the time. Mm -hmm. to say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I confess my sins, but I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. And you know what? He's not going to turn you down. Mm -hmm. He sacrificed his son to have you. Mm -hmm. So why is he going to put you down? Oh no, you know you gotta go through all these steps. No, you gotta be she... baptized for it. No. You gotta go through all this other ah, things. Thank oh, you. He said, that robber, that crook, whatever he was, <clears throat> he didn't have to step off his cross to go get baptized. He didn't have to step off his cross to go and go through all these steps of salvation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He says, Today he confessed him with his words and says, Today you will be with me in paradise. Mm -hmm. Amen. So when you confess him. You're a child of God. Old things are past. New things have come in. You're forgiven. He's forgotten you. So you need to do the same thing. Forgive and forget and press on. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm excited, church. Hallelujah. <laughs> check your words, your actions. Check sin. Sin opens the door for Satan to slide in. Mm. Amen. We live in a negative world. We live in a dark world. You know, you're bombarded with negative things on a daily basis. Your eye gate, your ear gate, mm -hmm. they hear these things, they see these things. So you got to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen? Protect yeah. yourself. What is passion? I'm glad you asked me. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> passion is what mobilizes the body of Christ, the church, into action. Amen? You know, one day Jesus went and saw these fishermen, and he says, Come with me. Come. <laughs> they didn't say, where are we going? <laughs> they just say, come. <laughs> and guess what? They went. One day Jesus came and you received him as Lord and Savior. And he says, come follow me. And here you are. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. A child of God. Mm -hmm. Serving him. We need to do this. We need to continue yes. to do this. Amen. Yes. With passion. Yes. 
passion is what caused the apostles to boldly go and to follow him. We're no man. Amen. <laughs> we know where this going. Passion is what caused Christ. Passion is what caused Jesus Woo. to spend hours Amen. in preparing himself for his mission. You know the time when he went and spent time with the Father? He was a man. Yeah. Father, I need your strength to keep this going, you know. Mm -hmm. He says, he sweated as blood to, uh, drops, drops of blood, you know. Mm -hmm. But guess what? By passion, pass he passionately served his time with yes. the Father. He served his Father. Yes. Passion is what takes a normal, born-again believer and turns them into a supernatural, passionate power. Yes. On fire, yes. sold out, yes. serving, battle ready mm -hmm. for his mission, mm -hmm. ready for action. Yes. You know, takes you. If you see yourself, or you see yourself the way the world sees you, mm -hmm. not good enough, not qualified, not called, mm -hmm. but he's already called you. He's already approved you. Yes, he has. <laughs> you're his. And if he says you're his, <laughs> and you're blessed to go, <laughs> so what if the world says you're not? Mm -hmm. He says you are. You go press on and do for him. Amen. Amen. So praise, praise God. God. Thank you, Lord. And he says, mm -hmm. I don't, just don't want to be an average born again believer. I want to be supernatural. Mm -hmm. He's anointed you. He's called you, anointed yes. you, and equipped you for this mission. And I can do all, all things, things through him. So I'm going to fulfill my mission. You're going to complete your mission. We come together and assemble ourselves together on Sundays or church days to encourage one another and say, mm -hmm. brother, you can make it. Sister, you can make it. And we're at different levels mm -hmm. of maturity, but we're maturing and growing in Him. Don't Amen. see yourself. Don't see All yourself. Right. Don't see That's yourself a, 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 a loser. Don't That's see right. yourself. Uh, well, I, I'm not getting it. Yes, mm -hmm. you are. You are. We encourage one another. Yes. Church. We complete one another. Yeah. The, yeah. the world competes. Mm -hmm. I'm better than you. I can do this better than you. I'm more qualified than you. You're not qualified. Mm. The body of Christ, we complete one another. We're at different levels. You know, how can we say, he says, he talks about our, our human body. Mm. Our human body, one body, many parts. But they all work in unity. Mm. And we complete one another. We complete this awesome body he's given us mm. by working together in unity. Mm. That's his body of Christ. Working together in unity. How can I say my fingers, my heart is more important than my fingers or my hand? Or how can I say my heart is more important than the rest of other parts of my body? Mm -hmm. No. They're all important. So see yourself. You are a child of God and you are important to Him. And He wants to use Amen. you. Amen. So see yourself the way He sees you. You're very important. Woo. You got to be passionate. And be excited on fire for him to serve him. Amen? Amen. So praise God. Look what he's done for us. Look what the Lord has done. <laughs> yes. Mark 12, 30 says this. I'm going to give you two translations here. The first one, New Living Translation says, And you must love the Lord your God with what? With all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, Amen. and with all your strength. strength. Amen. The message translation says this. So love the Lord. God with all your passion mm. and prayer and intelligence and energy. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing matters more than that. Yes. That's the number one thing. Matthew uh, 633 says what? Seek you first, first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and all these other things shall be added on to you. Amen. Let's get our priorities in order on a daily basis as we serve him first. Mm -hmm. Spend time with him first. Build yourself up in Him first. Amen. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but God. Yeah. You know, these things are coming against me, but God. I'm spending yes. time with Him and just saying, thank you, Lord, for this brand new day. Amen. Thank you for this brand new year. I can do Praise all God. things through you. And you're going to be right there with me, and I'm going to step out in faith and do the things you've called me to do. Amen. Those are the things you say. Mm -hmm. Amen. And get yourself ready for battle ready. I like that. I like to use battle ready. Mm -hmm. yeah. I spend my time military. And you know what? You're military now too. Because mm -hmm. you're in his army. <laughs> you're in God's army. Amen. Praise God. So Amen. be battle ready. Because you know what? The battle's coming. 
Lord. You walk out that door and you see oh, the battle's ready to oh, Lord. And if you ain't ready, they're going to have you. Yes, yes. <laughs> start the new day, start the new year with passion, battle ready, priorities in order. Amen. In my military days, on a daily basis, when I reported the work, always have my priorities in order. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I mean, I'm talking about you submitted it to orders. What's the order of the day? What's the plan of the day? Mm -hmm. You got to have your priorities in order. Mm -hmm. We got to have our priorities in order to serve Him first. Yeah. Jesus first. On top, get off the throne and let Him sit. Oh. <laughs> He's on the throne. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus right. says, I want you to love me passionately. Yeah. Nothing else matters in life if you don't love God with passion. That's right. Amen. God doesn't want you to love Him half-heartedly. That's right. He didn't do it to us. God didn't do that for us. He said His best. He said Amen. Jesus. Jesus did His best and gave His best, so we need to give our best. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, <laughs> you know what they say about excuses? <laughs> Everybody has. Well, everybody has an excuse, but if you find one, don't, don't pick it up. Pick it up. Just let it go. Amen. Yeah. Just keep pressing on. You see an, uh, an excuse? <laughs> don't stop and give it a ride. <laughs> don't pick it up. Just let it go. It's not for me. It's yeah. for somebody else. I'm yes. excited. I'm passionate, and I'm pressing on with you. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to finish all this, but um, praise the Lord. We got another Sunday to go. Amen. Jesus is saying. Mm -hmm. wants you to live passionately for him. Amen. And if you don't know, I'll say it again, he's our greatest example. Yeah. He's our greatest role model we yeah. have. Amen. The world's looking for athletes. The world's yeah. looking for uh, CEOs. You know? oh, yeah. The world's looking for all these other people to be their God. Uh -huh. I'm looking at Jesus. I'm looking yeah. at him. Yes. The greatest Praise example. God. The greatest uh, role model to live a passionate life. Yeah. I don't know live a passionate life. All you have to do is, is go and see his life. Yeah. Passionate about the things he did. <laughs> he says, I want you to put some muscle into it. Amen. Put some energy into it. Put yes. some emotion into yes. your relationship with me. Amen. Don't be a whip about our relationship with me. Don't be half-hearted. That's right. Unenthused, weak, uncommitted. Yeah. Lukewarm. Oh, boy. Be excited. Amen. Amen. Be hot. Yes. Him. Give it all you've got. Give your best. Amen. If you're going to follow me, <laughs> go with passion. Amen. Amen. Follow me with passion. You know what? People see you with the smile. People see you with passion in serving your God. They're going to walk. They're going to come up and they're going to ask you, what makes you, why are you so excited? Why are you always laughing? Why are you always smiling? They're going to ask you. And when you say it, because Jesus loves me, because I love Jesus, you know what they're going to say? They've been watching your words, they've been watching your actions, and they're going to say, I believe that, because I see it in you. It's showing through you. Mm -hmm. You're acting this way. And they're going to say, you know what? I need that Jesus, you will die. When they open the door, mm -hmm. you let them have it. Mm -hmm. You know? And he's not going to turn anybody down. Amen. Amen. And we, who are we to say no? We're not called to judge. We're not no. called to clean. That's he right. said we're called to bring his word and sow the word. God's going to see to it that it's going to be watered. Mm -hmm. He's going to see to it that there's going to come a time for an increase. And you may be there for a time where they're ready for an increase. They're ready to come <laughs> unto him. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Go at it with passion. You got to give it some oof. You know what oof means? Yeah. <laughs> and so yeah. get up and go. Yeah. I know Hector, you know, he, he likes to work on his own cars, you know, and he has to put some go in them, you know. <laughs> he likes to fix them. He likes his hot rods, you know. <laughs> we got to give it some go, you know. Mm -hmm. If you're going to have feet full of Jesus, you ain't going to be loafing around. You're going to be holding back. You know, oh, I'm so excited to serve Jesus, you know. <laughs> your words and your actions ain't showing it, you know. <laughs> you, you, you sound more like a lazy person. You ain't got no get up and go. If you follow God, you got to get up and go, amen. <laughs> Don't be lacking back. 
be on fire. <laughs> give it some spark, give it some fire. Get hot, give it some enthusiasm, give it Amen. some gusto. Listen, I close with this. Praise Amen. God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> the Bible tells us this. Uh -huh. We are to seek God. Yes. And you can write these down. Seek God with passion. Yes. Love God with passion. Uh -huh. Serve and obey God with passion. And trust God passionately. That's right. Amen. Uh -huh. These things. Just write those down. See those things on a on a daily basis when you go to before you leave. Seek him. Seek, Seek love God. And serve God. See, love, and serve and obey and trust. Seek, love, trust, and obey God with passion. Amen. Passion and love. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. Again, my favorite scripture. Whatever you do, do it with all your heart. Yes. Passionately. As unto the Lord Amen. and not unto me. That's what Amen. he did for us. Amen. Thank you, Lord. What he did to the Father, you know. Yes. He says, I'll do it, Father. I'll go. Amen. So praise God. You receive. Praise God. Yes. Say, I receive. I receive. Amen. 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 Praise God. So praise God. those of you that are watching, if you never accepted Jesus, now is the time. Amen. Just say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I'll sin against you. I confess all my sins. I confess all my sins. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Come into my heart. Come into my life. And be my Lord and Savior. Amen. And He's going to come. You know, I want you to go and, and hook up with a Bible-based church where they preach the Word of God, where they teach the Word of God. Amen. And you can start growing in the things of God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. It's the Word. His Word is going to set you free. So praise God. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Anybody need, need prayer? Anybody need prayer? Those of you that are watching, just know that God wants to. God is already here. Jesus is already here. Mm -hmm. Amen. So just say, Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Now I want you to come and touch me yes. and heal me. Amen. From the front of my head to the soles of my feet. Whatever's attacking your body, I cancel that assignment right now yes. in Jesus' name. Sickness has no place in your body. That's I right. command it to go in Jesus' name. Yes. And I release his healing powers to touch yes. you and, and, and be healed right now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.